Here is a derivation of the memoryless property for the geometric distribution. The memoryless property is also known as the forgetfulness property. Here is the theorem. If x has the geometric distribution with parameter p, where p is between 0 and 1, and any two non-negative integers x and y, then the probability x is greater than or equal to x plus y given x is greater than or equal to x is equal to the probability x is greater than or equal to y. For the proof, the left-hand side will be the assumption, and we are going to use some facts about conditional probability and about the geometric distribution to eventually land at the right-hand side. So the probability x is greater than or equal to x plus y given x is greater than or equal to x is the same as the probability of one event given another. And you know that the probability of a given b is the probability of a and b, and the intersection here is uh, going to be denoted by a comma, that means and, divided by the probability of b. This event in the numerator here, assuming that you have non-negative integers x and y, since x is being greater than or equal to x plus y, and x is greater than or equal to x here, this second piece of the event is superfluous, so you can simply write this as x is greater than or equal to x plus y. This is divided by the probability x is greater than or equal to x. If you look at the derivation of the CDF from the previous page, you will notice that these two probabilities can be expressed in closed form, and they are 1 minus p to the x plus y, and 1 minus p raised to the x power. Next, because the base is the same in both case, the cases, the exponents can be subtracted and if you take x plus y minus x you get just y. So finally this 1 minus p raised to the y power is the same again by the CDF of the geometric distribution as the probability x is greater than or equal to y and that is our right hand side. It turns out that the geometric distribution is the only discrete distribution with the memoryless property. And that is a, uh, a big deal because there is only one continuous distribution with the memoryless property and that distribution is the exponential distribution. So this is a very rare property to have and the geometric is the only discrete distribution with this property and in fact there is a proof that says the geometric will be the only discrete distribution with this property and the exponential will be the only continuous distribution with this property. Here is a picture that might help give a little bit of intuition with respect to what's going on with the memoryless property. Here is the probability mass function of the geometric distribution. There is a spike of height p at 0 and then at height, or I'm sorry, at uh, x equals 1, the height here is 1 minus p times p and then here of course it's 1 minus p squared times p, 1 minus p cubed times 3, etc. And it has that kind of classic geometric decline to it. Now let's say I go into a gymnasium and I'm in that gymnasium by myself and I say I am going to shoot free throws until I make a shot. So notice we're going into the world of the geometric there by saying I'm looking at the number of failures before the first success. I also have to assume that each of my free throws that I shoot is an independent Bernoulli trial. I don't get any better and I don't get any worse and how I do on a previous free throw has nothing to do with the next free throw. So the geometric model is appropriate 
And if I count, start counting the number of failures until my first success, it'll have this distribution. Now let's say what happens is I have three failures in a row. Failure on, on trial zero, failure on trial one, and failure on trial two. Then somebody else walks into the gymnasium and I don't tell them that I have missed three free throws. I just tell them, hey, start counting my failures until the first success. Well, if I do that, then they also will have a separate distribution, but that distribution starts right here. And of course, I want to draw that distribution, but it's not these spikes right here, but it's these spikes rescaled so that they will sum to one. And I'll use a different color for those spikes. And they might look something like this and on and on they would go. So what the memory list property says is the following. If you look at these red spikes, which was when I started shooting free throws alone in the gym, that's the right hand side here. This is basically the survivor function associated with my starting from zero. Then this right here says that I made it to x equals 3. I had three failures in here. So now we have a conditional probability and this corresponds to the blue spike. So the blue spikes are over here on the left and it turns out geometrically what's happening is these red heights and the blue heights are identical. So this height right here is p which means this height right here is p. This height right here is 1 minus p times p this is 1 minus p times p, etc. So basically the blue version here is just a shifted red version and that is basically the geometry behind the memory list property. Again, the geometric distribution is the only one that has this particular property.